one of the latest techniques that's really created quite a stir in the fishing community is the whole art of butterfly jigging. And butterfly jigging in its simplest form is nothing more than dropping a weighted lure to the bottom and retrieving it to the surface in a jigging fashion. In its more complex form, uh, the whole jigging process really created quite a demand on tackle because number one, we were using much shorter, very stout rods which delivered a lot more leverage. Uh, and you couple that with some of the high torque reels that we're using, couple that with the super braids that we're using, it, it really created a lot of strain on the hook and the hook is what attaches you to the fish. What we found is early on in the whole jigging process, many of the light wire hooks we were using were simply just straightening out. And it was really right about that time that, that Mustad started uh, taking an interest in what a lot of fishermen were doing with the, with the whole jigging system and trying to figure out a way to make a better uh, assist hook rig for the jigs. And what they did is they garnished all the information that was out there in the field and took it a step further. They started experimenting with different cordages, different strands of wire, different plating on the hooks, swivels and the like until they came up with a combination that, that really works as good as something like you or I would make, except it doesn't take you 15, 20 minutes a rig to produce. So just like the whole process of jigging kind of evolved into what it is today, a lot of the hooks have evolved along with it. innovations I think they came out with was instead of using the Kevlar based cordage which was very thick very cumbersome and deteriorated with light they started using spectra uh, as the cordage to attach the hook to the rig the advantages to using the spectra based cordage are, are several one it's half the diameter of the Kevlar stuff so that it's easier to put on and off the hook if you need a bigger hook it's easy to change it out and vice versa uh, then number two, it's 100% UV resistant, so you can leave it on your lures or leave it in the sun and it's never going to lose uh, its strength. And Spectra is basically half the diameter for the same pound test as the Kevlar products. That made it much thinner, much easier to get not only on the jig, but also to snell it to the hook. Our next evolution was really the whole wire. And with the onset of wire, you know, came a whole bunch of different parameters that we had to deal with. Well, what Mustad did is they started using, instead of seven strand wire, which is what's commonly used out in the market right now, they started using a, a 49 strand wire. And the reason for that was in, 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 the, in a fishing scenario, you know, you get a fish comes up and bites that lure, uh, you know, he's gonna kink it around his mouth and twist it in many different ways. And with a seven strand wire, uh, it would kink and, and you'd lose you know, the mobility of, of, the, of the hook and then you'd also lose the action of the lure. With a 49 strand wire, it's very much more flexible and does not re retain a kink. So with a whole addition of wire came a whole different set of problems because if you attach the wire in a fixed way to the jig and a fish bites, what'll happen is, say as that fish twist, this happens to the wire. And when that happens to the wire and you pull it under tension, you kink the wire and that, that compromises the integrity of that wire. So what Mustad did, you know, that I think was the thing that saved a lot of these wire rigs is they added the swivel. And the swivel basically did that, all right? So that your rigs last longer in an actual fishing scenario. So from the single hook rigs, you know, we were catching a lot of the, the bottom feeders and the mid uh, water column feeders, you know, amberjacks, groupers, things like that, uh, even tunas. But, you know, a lot of those fish were, were what we call suction feeders. They actually swim up to their food and open their mouth, flare their gills, and, and actually engulf the whole lure. Uh, a lot of those worked fine with the single hook rigs. But what we were finding is in certain places there were many kingfish and wahoos and fish that are called ram feeders which they basically swim into their food and slash it to feed. 
uh, we were missing many of those bites with the single hook rigs. So the next obvious evolution was to add a treble to the whole system. And, and this to me one, was one of the best innovations uh, for, for jigging in general because you, you got the best of everything. You know, you had the swivel that kind of keeps this uh, hook fluid on the lure. You have the 49 strand wire which doesn't kink and you have the treble that not only catches the bottom fish but also those slash and burn feeders now as soon as they'd hit, they'd be hooked. So for us fishermen, it's really been a great thing to have these rigs now commercially made with the finest component, the best wire, the best swivels, the best hooks, except it doesn't take you 15 to 20 minutes a rig to produce. So it's really great to have you know, a system of not only being able to use the jigs in many different uh, locations and for different species, but a way to tailor those jigs to whatever species you're fishing by all these different hook rigs.